Ugh, ads are such poop. Subscribe to ACAST Plus now to skip ads and more for just $1 a month. Click the link in our show notes to learn how. And hey, we're on Patreon too. Your support helps cover the cost of running a podcast. For $2 a month, you can get early access to all our episodes ad-free, plus bonus episodes exclusive to Patreon subscribers only. Visit patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse to sign up now. ACAST powers the world's best podcasts. Here's a show that we recommend. Hey, it's Kat. And actually, it's Pat. And actually, we're randomly the host of a podcast called Seek Treatment. And to Pat, tell them what's it, what's it about. It's actually a podcast about boys, sex, f-ing, dating, and love. Each week, we invite an exciting guest. And we do our very best not to be boring towards them or even towards you, the listener. We try to say interesting things are actually so hilarious that you laugh your ass off. And after your ass falls the heck off, we guide our guests towards the most important question of all. Who are you? Who, who are, are you? you? And, and who, who do you want to be? be? So if you liked what this was. If you heard this <laughs> and said, I love what this is. <laughs> then like and subscribe. To seek treatment. Acast helps creators launch, grow, and monetize their podcasts everywhere. Acast.com. Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick, and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys? We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Husband. Wife. Do you remember what happened yesterday? Uh, The chapter started with Ahaziah. Mm -hmm. Then there was lots of names and relationships and things happening. And then with Joash. Or Joash? Joash. Joash. Yeah, I actually got it all figured out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, hit me with it. Okay, so Ahaziah, right? Yeah. That's Asa's kid. Or grandkid or whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, because it was Asa and then, yeah. Asa's grandkid? It was Asa and then um, Jehoshaphat, or do I have those two backwards? Jehoshaphat was Ahaziah's dad, I believe. Right, so it was Asa and then Jehoshaphat and then Ahaziah. Okay, Okay. Yeah. So now we're on Ahaziah. Right. Okay? Yeah. So he was all evil and shit. Right. And he was best friends with... Um, that dude, Jehu, Jehu from no, no, oh, no not he got Jehu. By, yeah, never mind, I'm sorry. He Joram. was Joram from Judah. Yeah, Joram. Yeah, and they were best friends or whatever. Yeah, and then Joram got um, he went into battle with one of the kings that they were fighting that they right. decided to fight for whatever reason. Yeah, and he got like stabbed or whatever. So, um, to go mend his ways, he went to go. Stay with um, Jehu. No. No. God he damn it. He went to some city. Right. That was. That yeah. City. Yeah. He went to go stay with Jehu. Jehu's area. Yeah. But the city where Jehu was not. Yeah. With but Jehu. that was Jehu's city. Okay. He went to go heal there. All right. Right. Yeah. And so then Ahaziah's like. Jezreel. Oh. It was in Jezreel. Yeah. Jezreel. And so then Ahaziah's like, oh, my guy, he's healing over there. I'm going to go meet up with him in this place. Right. That this bad guy lives yeah. that wants to kill us. That right. sounds smart. Right. So then there they are hanging out in Jezreel. And then Jehu's like, fuck all of you. And killed and them. And killed them. Right. Right. And so then back home, Ahaziah's mom is like, oh, remember that time when my son who just got murdered murdered all of his brothers? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to kill all of his kids and family and everything. Which right. I didn't really understand that at the time. Okay. Right. Her, her name's like Athalia or some shit like that. Sure. Okay. And so she's like, I'm killing everybody. But then Ahaziah's sister is like, that seems kind of mean. Right. And so then she took the youngest baby of Ahaziah and is like, 
just going to hide little Joe Ash over here. Right, right. And maybe he won't get killed. Mm -hmm. And then that Athelia bitch was like, you killed your brothers, my other son, so I'm going to kill all of your family. Right. And, and so she did, except for Joe Ash. And that's where we ended. Okay. All right, so that was uh, 2 Kings chapter 22. Sure as fuck was. And today we'll be reading... 2 Chronicles chapter 23. All right, let's go do this. Okay. Okay, 2 Chronicles chapter 23. Okay. And I forgot to say that... Um, Ahaziah's mom, Athalia, yeah. her husband is Jehoiada, a priest. Oh, okay, okay. So she had no That's right, they business. were stowed away in the, wait. She had no business being murdery. Oh, okay, okay. Because she's married to a priest. So Got it. So I don't know why she's all murdery, okay? I thought she was married to Jehoshaphat. Um, the one that, you know, there's the one that stowed away Joash. She was married to a priest, oh, I thought. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, you're right. Okay. My bad. Okay. Yeah, I did it again. Like, I just as soon as uh-huh. I think I got a grasp on this, <laughs> and then I fuck it all up. I'm getting it. I'm yeah. getting it. I mean, I pay attention occasionally, so That's I, got, good. I got you, I guess. Well, here's the thing. Like, after we got done, I went and I took notes. Yeah. So that I could have it straight in my head. But there's so many names that I just, I forgot them all already. Right, right. So, oh well. What you gonna do? Right. I tried. Okay, yep. in the seventh year of Athalia, the bitch mom's reign. Yeah. Jehoiada the priest decided to act. No, you're right. Yeah. This is her son-in-law then. Right? Sure, maybe. Yeah. Kind of. This is her son-in-law because right. it's step the sister he's a stepmom though. She was no. she wasn't actually um at, at whatever that guy's whatever his name was. What? Isaiah. It wasn't um this it, this it bitch is... wasn't Isaiah's actual mom. It was a stepmom. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Okay. Well, I don't necessarily believe you, but I have no reason to argue it, so I'll go with it. All right. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Regardless, um, her son-in-law is the priest. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So Jehoiada, the priest, decided to act. He summoned his courage and made a pact with five army commanders. Mm. Azariah, son of Jehoram. Ishmael, son of Jehoanan. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Azariah, son of Obed. Maaziah, son of Adiah. And Elishaphat, son of Zikri. And I'm not going to remember any of those. Right, right. But there are five, five men. Know, he, he's military like, leaders. we got to get rid of this bitch. Right. So these men traveled secretly throughout Judah and summoned the Levites and clan members in all the towns to come to Jerusalem. Mm. They were like, we have got to do something. Sounds like a lot of people didn't like this lady. She was crazier than the bad guys. Right, right. And the bad guys were evil in the Lord's sight. So, yeah, I mean, right. they were bad enough. Yep. They all gathered at the Temple of God where they made a solemn pact with Joash, the young king. He's only like six years old or whatever. Right. So, I don't know what the fuck kind of pact they're making. I mean, you know. With a kid. Yeah. Jehoiada said to them, here is the king's son. The time has come for him to reign. The Lord has promised that a descendant of David will be our king. That is what you must do, kiddo. When you priests and Levites come on duty on the Sabbath, a third of you will serve as gatekeepers. Oh, I remember all mm, this mm. from the kingses, remember? Yeah, right. Another third. Don't will... they toss her out of a window or yeah, something? Yeah, I think so. I yeah. think so. Another third will go over to the royal palace, and the final third will be at the foundation gate. Mm. Everyone else should stay in the courtyards of the Lord's temple. Well, if you've got a third, a third, and a third, there is no and the rest of you. Because right. <laughs> three thirds is a whole. Right. So yeah. what is the rest they of you? They didn't do math very well back then. Clearly. You know, math was not their strong suit. They couldn't even count to certain numbers. So Math is not my strong suit. And even I understand that when you add three thirds, you get a whole and there's none left over. Right, right. Remember. Only the priests and Levites on duty may enter, you said duty, may enter the temple of the Lord, for they are set apart as fucking holy. Mm. The rest of the people that are not one of the thirds that I just mentioned, (laughs) um, they must obey the Lord's instructions and stay outside. Okay. You Levites, form a bodyguard around the king, the kiddo, and keep your weapons in hand. Kill anyone who tries to enter the temple. 
stay with the king, the kiddo, wherever he goes. Murderous Levites. Levites. Yeah. They're making the Levites get out their little right. stabby stabs. Yeah. So the Levites and all the people of Judah did everything as Jehoiada the priest ordered. The commanders took charge of the men reporting for duty that Sabbath. Oh, they fought on the Sabbath. Mm. Damn. That's, I mean, I don't know that's, how I feel about that. That's a big deal. I feel like God wouldn't like that. I, I can't even speak for God at you're, this point. You're because supposed he's, to pick up sticks on the Sabbath. He's so fucking wishy-washy. Can you really even guess which way he would go on this? No. No. As well as those who were going off duty. Jehoiada, the priest, did not let anyone go home after their shift ended. He's like, all y'all work in OT. Well, I mean, you don't want anybody spreading right. rumors about, you know, yeah. hey, we're taking over the queen tonight. <laughs> then Jehoiada supplied the commanders with the spears and the large and small shields that had once belonged to King David mm. and were stored in the temple of God. I, I remember that they all those... lost that shit to um, they, somebody. They did, but it hasn't happened yet. Oh, They okay. did... Further on in the books. No, of but one kings. of the kings since David has had had to make bronze shields because somebody plundered the other stuff that David had. I don't think that's there happened. There were gold shields originally, and then yeah, but to, I don't think that's happened yet. There in was another this chronicles. Plund- there, I'm not talking about the big one. I'm talking about there was another plundering mm. where then they had to make bronze shields. One of the kings that we've already read about in chronicles here. Mm. I can't remember which one, mm. but somebody since David had to make bronze shields. Because somebody had plundered all the shit. Didn't they get all that shit back, It was though? after Solomon, because Solomon made all the riches, and then the next yeah. guy lost it all. Okay, but didn't they get it back? I don't they think They just did so. a shit ton of plundering. I mean, maybe they plundered other shit, but, you know. I don't know. Whatever. They he, don't have David shields, is my point. Okay, whatever. Who cares? He, Jehoiada, stationed all the people around the king with their weapons ready. They formed a line from the south side of the temple around to the north side and all around the altar. I can't believe, like, she has no idea that this is going on. I mean, it on. seems like it would be a little suspicious, right? We said this at the time last time around. Yeah. We were like, how did she and not And she know? doesn't have people reporting to her, like, hey, um, there's, like, a big uh, to-do. army there's forming a to-do. in town. Well, they maybe don't have their swords, like, out, out. Right. They're but ready, something's but they're not. happening. Right. There's, there's a gathering. There's a to-do. There's yeah. a, a fracas. Right. Then Jehoiada and his sons brought out Joash, the king's son, the kiddo, placed the crown on his itty-bitty little head, Hmm. and presented him with a copy of God's laws. Because that's what you do to six-year-olds. I mean, Hmm. you know. I don't remember them giving him a copy of God's laws the first time around. Probably didn't. I don't know. Who knows? I don't think they had a copy. But it's the first documented um, time of indoctrination. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. (laughs) They anointed him. I guess they have the right to anoint him, huh? And proclaimed him king, and everyone shouted, Long live the king! I mean, it's the way I see it. You can, you know, pretty much anoint anybody you want king. I think we did this before. Me and you anointed each other and decided we're kings. You're right, I think we did. Because anybody can be a king. And we were like... Have you done any kingly acts since since then? um, I haven't. I haven't done any kingly acts. I'm trying to think, like... No, I mean, what would be would a kingly act be like something bossy, or would it be like something good? I and suppose decent? it depends on what kind of king you are, right? Okay, like are you a good king or are you a shit king? I mean, I would be a good king. Did you destroy a sheriff holes, or did you let people have them? Oh, I let people have whatever they want. Oh, okay, All so right. so there you go. You're you were a good king, but not to God. God but probably would have smited you. I'm I'm smote, but you're not smote. So I mean, I guess you're still reigning. But I'm not. Um, I'm not in David's line. Are we so co-kings? does it even matter? Well, we? yeah, okay. obviously. Got it. Okay. Because I'm, I'm, just checking, I'm you know? not king over you and you're not king over me. Right, right. We're, yeah, we king a ling a ding dong together. <laughs> <laughs> we king around. Okay. And kings yeah. be kinging. Right, yeah. When Athalia heard the noise of the people running and the shouts of praise to the king mm. yeah that'll give away every time yeah yeah she hurried to the lord's temple to see what the fuck was happening when she arrived she saw the newly crowned king standing in his place of authority by the pillar at the temple entrance oh i bet her face was mad yeah i would i would love to see her face yeah but she just ran down there by herself surely she had I mean, she have some guards she with had her, some anything? handmaids with okay. her i'm right. sure right. i'm sure the commanders and trumpeters burr, 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 were surrounding him and people from all over the land were rejoicing and blowing trumpets. Burr, 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 burr. 
singers to be to be da 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 ah. I, you with, know what I don't understand? No. Like so, there's all these people, right? And the the thing they needed to throw off this shitty ruler mm-hmm. is to anoint a king. Mm-hmm. Why didn't they just? I mean, like, what? What's they wrong with just taking at, it yourself? Yeah, they could have like, done this at any time. Fuck cares about a king? Just okay, fucking because, take the goddamn place but over. They could have, but it took the one guy, the one priest, to put it all into action and make it happen. Sure. No, I get and it. He was a follower of God. I suppose, but like, why are we so hung up on symbology and sim- symbols and things? Symbolism. You know, symbolism. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, like it just. These people could have thrown this shit ass ruler out anytime they wanted to. Okay, you're asking that question, but yet we live in a country with lots of people no, who and, don't and like the exactly way. That's exactly right. I don't. I don't understand it now as much as I don't understand it for then. Because we go along to get along, and we we're used to. It's easier to just go with what you're used to. You know, yeah. like what are you gonna go insurrection? I'm not. I mean, no. Like, let's say Trump gets in office again. Are you going to go insurrection? I'll protest. Okay, but protest is not the same as, why didn't you just go declare yourself the president? I mean, if he tries to scrap the goddamn constitution, I might consider... You are so full of shit. No, you won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. Whatever. No, you can't say things like that on a podcast. You can't tell me what I wouldn't do. I know what you wouldn't do. Do not. I do know what you wouldn't do. And what you wouldn't do is you wouldn't just be like, I'm the president now. I've decided. And that's the same thing these people are going through. All right. They have have a method. They have a thing. Okay. All right. Singers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With musical instruments were leading the people in a great celebration. When Athalia saw this, that bitch tore her clothes in despair and shouted, Treason! Treason! Oh, what a world! <laughs> Man, Just in case anybody missed that, it was treason. Treason. Treason! God damn it! Treason! Then Jehoiada the priest ordered the commanders who were in charge of the troops, take her to the soldiers in front of the temple and kill anyone who tries to rescue her. For wow. The- no, he didn't say go kill her. He right. just said kill anybody that tries to rescue her. No, I got it. I got it. For the priest had said she must not be killed in the temple of the Lord. I do remember that. I do too. Because they were like, we're we're I, doing I this all this on the, the chick, up and up. This is the lady who got thrown out the goddamn window I and then left it for dogs to eat. I thought it was too, but I so, don't know for sure. Yeah. So they seized her and let her out to the entrance of the horse gate on the palace grounds and they killed her there. Hmm. Damn, they killed her with the horses. Yeah. She got horse poopy in her intestines. <laughs> <laughs> then Jehoiada made a covenant between himself and the king and the people that they would be the Lord's people. Mm. And all the people went over to the temple of Baal and tore it down. Yeah, they did. They tore it the fuck down. That's what the good kings do. They mm-hmm. tear down those fucking altars. And then they get rid of the Asherah poles. Right. They demolished the altars and smashed the idols and they killed Matan. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I, I did a scroll. You did a scroll thing, Oopsie. yeah. Oopsie. Okay. They killed Matan, the priest of Baal, in front of the altars. Damn. Whoever Matan is, like, You're never. the priest of Baal. I guess. Yeah. Like, I want to look him up. That's kind of shitty, though. You know, like, this guy's just, he's just doing his job. And he's like, all right, we're worshiping Baal this week. And then they're like, not anymore. And now you're dead. And recorded in history forever as an evil, evil motherfucker. So it just let it be known, apparently. I mean, I, I God didn't technically sanction this, but he didn't say anything bad about it. God apparently is okay with killing political, right or not political. Religious rivals. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah, of course he is. That's, that's shitty. That's He's, shitty. He is a murdery, vengeful some bitch. Right. I agree. I don't agree with that move. I think that's no. Dumb. It's a douche move. Yeah. Quite honestly. Right. Jehoiada now put the priests and Levites in charge of the temple of the Lord, following all the directions given by David. He also commanded them to present burnt offerings to the Lord, as prescribed by the law of Moses. And to sing and rejoice, as David had instructed. I want to see some dancing, bouncing, ding-dongs. <laughs> That's what I want to see. He also stationed gatekeepers, but not key masters, 
at the gates of the Lord's temple to keep out those who for any reason were ceremonially unclean. You Ah, know, like anybody who had just had sex or anybody who was menstruating or anybody who had just happened to be a vampire that sucked blood. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny that they don't really mention the unclean thing hardly at all for like mm-hmm. ever. And then all of, and a then sudden, all of a sudden, right here at the end of a chapter, they're like, "And the ceremonially unclean, yeah. are we gonna get kept out too?" Because because he is the uh, the goodest good of the good that ever gooded. Yeah, we don't want to forget about that thing that they covered in mm-hmm. detail. Yeah, but then didn't say another word about after right. that. Right. So then the commanders, nobles, rulers, and all the people of the land escorted the kidlit king from the temple of the Lord. And they went through the upper gate and into the palace and they seated the little kidlit king on the royal throne. Mm. They probably had to give him a pillow because if I recall, he's only six. Mm. Yeah. So all the people of the land rejoiced and the city was peaceful because Athelia had been killed. The end. Right. Murder yeah. always writes a wrong. I mean, they made her sound pretty bad, so. Whatever. He, no, they said she was bad. They didn't right. make her sound bad. They just said she was bad. Right. They said she was bad. She was so. no more murdery than anybody else. The fact of the matter is she was a woman. I mean, maybe she was, though. Maybe she was mur- more murdery. But we don't know that based on what has been recorded right. here. Right. No, I agree. As we, far as we I can tell. We also don't know that it didn't happen. So, But as far as I can tell, she was no worse than anybody else before her. Right. Because there was all kinds of kings that were like... I did evil in the sight of the Lord, but really, I got to roll for 30 plus years. Really, it just matters who you're, like, the the winners wrote the book, so they can murder people and make it look like a good thing, mm-hmm. and she can murder people and it's a bad thing. That's what I'm saying. So. I think it had a lot to do with the fact that she was a woman. Right. They were like. I'm, I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure. She had a vagina. She can't be in charge. Right. That's disgusting. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. 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 So. That happened. Right. And that was Second Chronicles chapter 23. It sure as fuck was. And we will be back tomorrow with... Second Chronicles chapter 24 to find out what that kid lit did. Yeah. We'll see you guys then. Bye. Hey, wife. I guess that's the end. But husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh my God. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. Ooh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh, yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye. 
Acast helps creators launch, grow, and monetize their podcasts everywhere. Acast.com. <laughs>